Welcome everybody to our 28th Fireside Chat. I'm Tim Hollick, your host, and with me as always is my good friend Joe Zinni. Tim, number 28. Number 28. And we've, we've, we've broached a lot of different subjects, things that we like, things that we and I talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about value today. We talk about value in purchasing and everything else. You buy a cheaper model, that's what you get. Mm -hmm. Well, the human factor comes into that as well. To me, you know, we, if you go through life buying that cheaper model, you're always going to be the cheaper model. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about value, what you value, what you look at as, as value. I know we have a value around here. You know, we're not just a kitchen cabinet company and countertops. There's a lot of value to who you are when they come here. What do you see as value? Well, the biggest thing I see with value, you know, of what value is Wood Palace compared to any other company out there? You know, the biggest problem in this industry is mistakes. Yeah. You know, not that we are mistake free, we're humans, we make mistakes, but, you know, people come here for a reason, they want to be helped. Um, sometimes it's just not what you sell somebody, it's the knowledge you give people. Yeah. You know, a lot of people buy things and then find out it really wasn't what they thought it was going to be, or uh, the place they bought from really didn't give them enough thoughts to make that better decision. So, you know, I think we're very good at bringing that type of value. The questions we ask, I mean, I'll know just by talking to the person that they're asking for something and uh, they're staring one way and I'm going to stare them another way and just say, you know, from what I'm hearing, or ask them questions and say, is that going to be good enough for you? Um, did you think of this? Did you think of that? That to me is the value when somebody is, you're buying a service and a product, somebody's giving you that extra thought process yeah. of things you need to be thinking of. Right. Because like anything else, sometimes people don't think of certain things. So we need to bring things up to say, you know, we could sell you this, but you know, maybe this would be better for you. Um, I think we're good at that. And the value, another piece of the value is, and you brought it up, is how valuable is your time, your money, your energy, your thought process. If somebody goes to the store and just buys all their kitchen cabinets or whatever it is and they bring them home, you're offering more of that, not only the service you bring here at Wood Palace, but the service you bring in life. When you talk to somebody about what they're doing, and I've seen you do it, you look, you change their thought process. Yeah, you, you, you bring a whole that. different value to their thought process. Yeah, you touched on how, you know, you come here and I'm going to ask you questions to get you thinking. You do that in life too, though. It's not just here. You know, people start talking to you. Tim, things aren't going well. You know, how come you got to this point? You talk to the value of what their life is. Because hmm. there's a lot of different ways to go through life. You can. I always say to people when it comes to yourself and your success. If you're thinking cheap all the time, if you're thinking you don't deserve something better, well. or you can't afford something better, um, then you're already making your mindset for the future. Now, how much is your time worth? You know, there is better, easy ways to, to save money. You know, there, there, you know, you can definitely save money on buying something cheap. But when you stay in that mindset of cheap all the time, right. you actually stunt your growth for your own life also. I agree. You know, as you go forward, you know, I, I'm a firm believer, you can afford it if you figure it out, you know, um, but a lot of people don't want to and they, they're stuck in that mentality of being cheap. So when it comes to success, if you're stuck in that mentality, you're not getting there. But that's another thing I find out in life. And then how much is your time worth? You know, you might save money by doing a lot of it yourself, but could you have been making money somewhere else? Right. Oh, that, that's true. You know? That's a different mindset altogether. You're talking about, okay, well, I'm saving myself, you know, two grand by doing this. Could have paid somebody two grand and you could have made four grand by going to work. That's right. And then and there's a value to that. There is. There's something you bring up often. There's a, there's a piece to it. You talk about um, helping people financially and you have this package and you offer them this package to help them with their credit, to help right, them build, credit score. To help build, build a better credit score, which helps them with their insurance rates, mortgage rates, all that stuff. And you say, well, I can't afford the $89 or $99. Okay, if you can't afford the $99, you can't afford to buy a house is what you, you, you say. Right. 
So there's value in what you're trying to bring in somebody's lifestyle. If you can't afford ninety nine dollars, you can't afford right. You know, twelve hundred dollar mortgage payment, or even a car sometimes. Or a car. Just simple and you know, not cheap. Cars aren't cheap. Um, it's still good sized payments. But people don't realize if they have a bad credit score, they're already hurting themselves to begin with because right. they're paying extra on everything. Any type of loan they're paying for, right. they're paying extra. Any type of insurance, they're being appraised higher uh, risk because of their credit score. Yeah. That stuff is all rated on that. Um, and when people say, I can't afford to, my thought for us is, you cannot not afford to. Correct. You know, they need to change their mindset. It goes back to that, uh, there's only eight pieces of the pie. Correct. There's only eight pieces of pizza. You know, even, even if you, you cut all of them and have 16, you still only have the same piece. That's right. You only have the same So you part. need to multiply your mindset uh, because if you do fix your credit, you're already saving a lot more money than yeah. anything. Right. They're only looking at it one way. They're looking at, well, I need to buy something unless I get my credit score up a car or a house, I won't be able to buy it. Well, you know, you're already in a bad situation to begin with a low credit score. You're paying a lot more money a month than you know right. or think. So there's a value to everything. I always tell people, then give up something. Right. You know, if, you, if it's going to cost you $89 a month, then give up some things so you can afford to pay that to fix your credit score. And when you do two months, three months, six months, you're going to know you have more money. Right. You're going to see it. Yeah. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't think that way. I've always, I always looked at value. Um, whenever I buy anything, do, do I buy sometimes something that's less cost? Yeah. Um, if it's not going to be used a lot, um, I, I make those uh, thought process and decisions sometimes. But people don't realize when they're in, like I say, it all comes down to that cheap mentality. If you stay in that world, you're always going to stay in that world. Because to me, one plus one equals three or more. Okay. So if I can't afford to buy something, I'm going to make sure my life goes better so I can afford what I want. Because there's certain things you can't buy cheap. No. There's certain services you don't want to cheapen on. No. Because it's not only the guidance we give you in picking everything, it's also making sure things go right in the kitchen. And there's a and huge value in that. There is. And when you buy from some place cheaper and you see things didn't go right, you're going to, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a pain to that. Yeah, there is. So now you're aggravated, extra time is being eaten up. Again, not to say things don't go wrong here. I mean, we do make mistakes sometimes. Our vendors make mistakes, but we're very good at making sure things get done right. Well, and, and fixing the mistakes is on, on you hmm. than the customer. Right. And, you know, and, and, and uh, again, if they if they go on the cheaper model and they have invested their time into it and it goes wrong, they're investing more time rather than making a phone call to you to fix it. That's right. That's what they're paying you for. That's right. That's the value right. of going the extra route. Uh, one of the things that we talked about is is uh, the, the value in buying the cheaper model and now you're stuck with it. Are you stuck with it? Uh, is, there's ways of getting out of that. And again, that comes down to fixing your mentality. Don't be cheap. That's right. You have to change that mentality. I, I know a lot of people trying to become successful and they scrimp on everything in their life. And I'm a firm believer that sometimes you need some of the better things in life to change your mindset to go forward to become more successful. Yes. I think you stay in that mindset, you stay in the cheap mode, and opportunity doesn't come as much for you anymore. Um, I've seen it happen to people. Uh, it happened to you when you started out. You bought, you went out into business, you, you, you didn't want to spend bigger money on equipment and it ended up costing you because you had to replace the equipment quicker because it wasn't as good Plus as... Plus two, it was more labor. Right. You know, more labor than I would have liked to because those machines weren't as good as better machines and there would be more sanding, more this, more that. Um, labor cost every day, every week, every month, every year. Right. The machine costs you once, right. so there's a big value in that. Sure. But at the time, I couldn't afford anything else. I wouldn't be able to stop it because of the things I needed. So 
it was the right way to start, but I learned a big lesson after that. Your yeah, dad when I changed. wanted it, yeah, when I wanted a good machine, I waited till I could afford it. I didn't buy cheap again. Right. I bought a better one. So labor went down, so it eventually caught up. But there's always them two circumstances. Sometimes you just don't have the money. But you know, you stay in a cheap mindset, you become the cheap mindset. And but see, there's a I mean there's a perfect analogy of it. You started off because you had to do the cheap thing. And sometimes you do, and you said that early, look. I, we get it. Sometimes you don't have the money to go all the way to right. get the, the higher end. But you learned and you changed your mindset. Okay, right. I can't do this. I gotta wait and do it the right way because it's only costing me in the long run. Right. And it's, you know, what a value that was. That's a valuable lesson to learn. And you've always said, you know, we're looking at learning every single day. You learn that. You're trying to let these folks know. Let, it, let these folks know. You know what it is they need to do. Okay, you start off with okay. I I, I want to buy a boat, mm. but I only can afford fifteen hundred dollars. And I had a friend that had done that. He bought a fifteen hundred dollar boat, put a little bit of money into it, got the enjoyment out of it, sold it, and bought a bigger boat. Right. Yeah. And he had a step process. He had a step process, and that's the same thing with machinery, kitchens, anything, anything you do. Anything you buy. You, you know your credit score. You, you know you don't want to spend the ninety nine dollars. Okay. Well, meanwhile you're spending one hundred and forty dollars a month mm -hmm. in interest payments that you shouldn't be paying. That you'd be saving anyways. That's right. So you need to look at the, the, the total value, and that's that, that's the reason why I wanted to bring this subject up. People sometimes don't look at the total value, and sometimes it's like you said, it's within them. They they that's have right. to, they grew up with that cheap mentality. I got to keep the cost down low. Sometimes you're not really doing that. No. And you're not doing it with your life either. You're, you're kind of no, because you, you have to sometimes live life. Yeah. If you stay in that <clears throat> cheap zone all the time, you're not really not living life. And that's what it comes down to. And people just don't understand, uh, unless they hit that plateau of some success in their life and be able to get some things uh, better and have more things, um, cheap doesn't always mean the right thing in a lot of different ways. No, and cheap, and there's a reason why it's called cheap. That's right. You know, it is cheap. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, you know, not necessarily less expensive. It's cheap. That's right. And, you, and it's going to cost you in the long run. You know, I bought cheap tires and I've had a change in three times in the amount of time that if I had just spent a few dollars more, I could have bought a good set of tires that would have lasted That's more. right. It, it's, it's that simple. That's the lifestyle that you want to see when you're going out in the world is don't always look at, you know, cheap be it price on services, of value, you know, look at who you really are. Is it going to save you time? Is it going to save you money in the long run? And before you know it, your values do change That's drastically. Right. Um, I, I liked this whole thing. I hope, I know it's a shorter version, but I hope it, we get the message across that cheap isn't always necessarily the way to go. That's right. You know, sometimes cheap, they cost, cheap costs you a lot in the, in the long run. A lot more run. money in, in the long, long run. run. Right, absolutely. You know, at least if you have a step plan, you can get by that. Absolutely. Eventually. Um, that's going to conclude our 28th uh, fireside chat. Next time we're going to talk about better versus easy. Um, and this is a subject that I go through in my mind with my daughter. Um, I want to make her life better, not necessarily easier. That's right. And we can do that with just about anybody. That's right. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.